What up guys, MoneyMaker 2.0 here, and we are back with another Webtoon review. Uh, before we get into the Webtoon review, uh, updates, Irma comic is gonna be reviewed soon, if when the author releases more. Currently the author broke their hand, their drawing hand, and so it's been slow progress, and so I have to wait for that to heal before I can review any more. Uh, Halo will still be coming out, but other than that, we let's get into this one that's now gonna be a review that comes out every month. About or I'll never run out of content because the author releases twice a month. Now, I heard about this webtoon from from reading Boyfriend of the Dead. Or another one. I think it was Boyfriend of the Dead before Boyfriend of the Dead became Fast Pass. I found this in my recommended titles or related titles too. And I read it as Endless Nightcore. I'm not, no joke. Back then when this came out, I was a big, I was listening to Nightcore. I even have Nightcore playlists on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Uh but Nightcore was for me and I was like, oh, Endless Nightcore. Is this from the, is this a band that created their own comic about Nightcore or something? And I was like, okay, I'll read it. And I read it and got to here and I was like, it's good. This is good. But it wasn't about Nightcore, of course, because I misread it, as I said. And once I got to the middle of the funeral one, which is what we're doing now, I realized that I misread read it and it was actually Endless Night Encore. And I still sometimes catch myself when I'm talking about it calling it Endless Night Core. Because that's what I thought it was for the longest amount of time was Endless Night Core, not Endless Night Encore. But since then, I've been reading it, and it's been good. And it's uh, one that I want to share with you guys, because it's, the author's really good at drawing, if you can't tell already. And the quality is great. It's perfection. Now, I was going to do some other webtoons, but I'm not sure about how the other authors feel about me reviewing them yet. I haven't really put it out on in the webtoon comments like hey can i review your video on a youtube because i feel like that's bad like you're sort of like it just doesn't feel right to me i guess and yeah but other than that let's enough talk about how i came upon this the quality and all this and that let's now as if you've noticed if you're a frequent webtoon person you will notice that this isn't actually on the webtoon website. Well, that's because I'm doing, I'm trying to get the word out there for the author and stuff. And I decided to do it from the author's website. So this is the official website, which click in the description below. And you will find all of the chapters of Endless Nightcore that I'm about to review there. So check it out and do this she other than that let's get into it fun rules well there's not fun fun's all capitalized so you gotta take that as when you're reading it as fun rules and there's no hyphen so it's not really fun rules or fun rules but i just feel like the author put it in there and when you read it you're supposed to read it as fun earls you're supposed to have the hyphen in there just because it's a pun and funny <laughs> but it does look like it's pretty worn down it looks like it just started out oh okay here's a character and here's another character a woman and a man she doesn't have a neck? Interesting. Clients. 
So, are you a business, are you someone who just, uh, showed up and got hired because this guy was, like, sold you? Were you really duped by this guy's sales pitch that, hey, work for me, I got tons of clients, I need your help. But in reality, he was just starting out, really, is that, <laughs> did you really get duped? You, you, you put, your, your face doesn't really say that you're easily duped, but I don't know about that. It looks like a fresh new, startly, freshly new business. Network is great still too. The doors are a bit wavy, it looks like, but they're good. Oh, so her name's Aurora. Okay, we got that. And you're expecting them soon? <sighs> I don't know about that. I mean, you guys look like dust, broken wood, cobwebs. It looks like it hasn't even been used in a long time. What? What? When are you expecting this? Well, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be worried either because I get a free paycheck. If there's no work to do, I get free money from this. But still, what is this world right now that they're currently in that there's a guy with no neck, no hands, it looks like, just floating head and hands and feet? Ah, yes, yes. This very legal document you see here. You see this document? It's a very legal document. I just had to add the very to emphasize it. And it's a prenup. But Aurora is just like, I'm ignoring you. Whatever. Hmm. Okay, but let's see where this pot goes. Yes, how did you end up? Wait, you didn't choose this? You came up? You, you, this happened to you? You're dead? No, 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 no. Is this the afterlife then? And who is he? Oh, you look so peaceful. For someone who killed themselves in the snow, whatever, you really look peaceful. You look so peaceful and so like, I ex you look so accepting of it, which I guess is correct when you when you are saying you chose, but and asking. Oh, you asked me. That's right. Then is that death? Or is that his brother? Life. <laughs> well, anybody could have told you that if you were expecting some gods or deities in the afterlife. Well, think again. I mean, it looks like if he is a god, it's interesting. He's able to make a book cover. But... Also, I'm I'm interested to see how, she, why she was so accepting of death and wished to become the bride of death. It's you think you wouldn't usually think that someone would actually like death. Like yes, people accept death or accept their time when they're about to die, but others don't. And I just. I don't think I've, I mean, then again, there's, there's girls that are crazy for serial killers, for serial killers out there. I, I guess, yeah, I guess it is possible for someone to die because they want, and they wish to be death's bride. 
I guess it does make sense. And yes, whenever whenever you expect something, don't 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 expect highly of it because uh, they'll always lead to disappointment or unexpectations, as you can see. Oh, he's floating <laughs> and leaning back. I see. I never noticed that. She's mad. Broke a coffee cup. Or was it a tea? Hmm. Oh, it sounds cool. Well, yeah, I guess that is true. If I was to be Death's Bride, I guess I would be expecting someone cool and... Well, if I was... If I wanted to be married to Death, I guess I would be expecting someone cool and amazing and awesome and, like, really crazy or whatever, but... <laughs> she's just disappointed just looks so disappointed well what do you expect <laughs> yes yes totally a funeral run by death just advertises itself yes yes that makes that makes perfect sense I mean it works for some people you advertise yourself get out there and if it's a cheesy name like I am a witch. Let's say your name's Witch. Although I don't think anyone's name's been Witch. But let's say someone's a witch and they just take on the role of a brand named Witch. Well, I guess there are branding companies out there. But I'm not... I don't know them because I'm not into those brands, I guess. But if you're brand name and you're just selling it as yourself, then yeah, I guess it does advertise itself. But it is a cheesy way to look at business. It's more of a selfish approach, I would say. Of course it's not pronounced funeral. Yeah, see, I knew it. The author was right at... I was right to pronounce it like that. I knew it. Wow, first thing you say to your supposed husband is, or the death god, supposed death god, first thing you say is, loser, common loser. Wow, interesting way to go about this. It's Victor. Of course it is. I mean... You're not wrong. I mean, yeah. If if I was pro if I made a wish and it came true, I would be like, yeah, this is not what I expected. No way, because it's how would you believe that? Because yeah, because we have all these concepts of like what we're expecting someone to be, because we're only mortals and we only understand what our brains give to us, and when we have those expectations set for an icon or someone it changes sometimes but it stays mostly the same over time and what you expect of something that nobody knows about or what it or what they actually look like in like real life because nobody knows whether or not it exists we all know we die but we don't know whether or not there's a death god like a god that controls how we die well, some people believe it, some people don't. It's all around, you know. Of course. Of course you're best suited. I am death. I am best suited to kill people and give them a funeral. I'm the best, I'm the best person around to give them a proper funeral, you know. I am the best at it. Oh, any second now. Ah, you're floating. Yes, yes. I wonder if those... I wonder if the colors mean anything later on, you know? Because so far we've seen Victor with purple... The purplish color. 
around him whenever he's somehow floating or doing something. He has this purple, purple outline around him. It's interesting. Don't say that. It, is the spider supposed to have those eyes? Because I think it is. <laughs> I think the spider's supposed to have those eyes because it's a reference to the fact that every, and even the, em, I think she, em, I think the author emphasized, em, emphasized on the very part. Or at least I may be thinking of it wrong, interpreting it wrong. But usually when someone adds a very to something, it usually means something's going to happen or something related to it. I think this spider is a clue to the fact that all oh, it's going to come true because it just has big wide eyes. Like bigger eyes than what you expect on a spider. Well then again, like I said, you can't expect it. My bad, I guess it was this scene that really sold you on the fact that it's, that it actually happened because the eyes that bulge out. <laughs> My bad, it was the other way around. <laughs> Dude, don't, whatever, you do you. What are we looking at? Hmm. He's going through the door, it doesn't matter if he knows how to use it, he's, He's, he's apparently God of Death. He's the immortal being, so I'm assuming he has the power to go through doors and stuff like that. That's the least you'd expect from a god, right? He doesn't use the doors anymore. Then why does he even have handles in the first place? If he started this bit, I mean, yes, because of because everyone that visits him isn't a god, or I guess because they're human like her, maybe? We haven't been told enough this is... Well, we can assume this is the afterlife, but we haven't been told whether or not there's more gods or if there's more. Like, we can assume it, but we won't know for sure. Actually, we do know because they said more funerals. More dead bodies. Or, yeah. Yeah. Oh, someone's dead. Oh, you know she died a few hours ago? How, how do you know? Oh, wait, I forgot. He's death god. Of course he knows how... They died. But wait, if this is the afterlife, how does someone die in the afterlife? Explain this. Is it some sort of closure or something? Or like how do you how do you die if you already died once? How do you double die? That is interesting. I thought the afterlife was supposed to be forever living. You're supposed to live in happiness and bliss forever. Like thought you were, but I guess that's not true. I mean, did they really get away fast? Because you gotta think here, it's like 20, it's like 10 to 20 seconds before you open the door. So I don't think they had time to run away in a, on your land or your property, whatever, that has dead trees, nothing to hide in. I think you would have seen them run. Because I think it's a straight path. I think you would have seen them run off. But I think they're hiding, maybe. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There's, yes, there's a body here. And we're just gonna dump it in the basement. You know, let's just do that. You know, let, let's just... Let's just dump the body in the basement. Because why not? It's a dead body. Just chuck it in the basement. I mean, I'm not sure because I've watched TVs and shows and other stuff that have, I never actually looked it up, but some funeral homes do their work in the basement, or at least I think some do, where they do their decorating and stuff the body in the basement and then bring it up. Or they do it on the main level, which I think they might do it on the main level. But that can't you just make the body disappear, Death. Like, like you're, you're Victor, right? You're the Death God. You should be able to just make the body disappear because they're dead, right? In the afterlife, or what's going on here? 
So you understand how the system works then? I'm not sure even how. Okay, so he's in debt. Okay, so he's running a business. He's in debt. That's why it looks so run down. And he just dumps bodies that he finds in the basement. But he's Lord Death. How can Death be in debt? That's the real question here is how is Death in debt when he is literally the god of death? I guess we'll find out in the next video. This video is going to be longer than the rest because of because of everything to do at the start. But after this, if you stay till the end, you know you will know that the coming episodes, coming reviews will be shorter. And we'll have two chapters instead of one review. Now that we've reached the end of this, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment about how I did. Other than that, subscribe to the author. Oh, I guess you can't subscribe to the author. Read the author's work on the website and webtoon, on, a, on the author's website and the webtoon which is in the link below and the author's links will be in the description below and I hope you all enjoy enjoyed the video and hope you all have a endless night bye